Young learners learn lessons on computer tablets at Lehele Primary School in Kenya's Wajia County. They are using an app called Mluga, which translates lessons in English and Swahili, the two main languages of instruction in Kenya, into other native languages. The app developers put the software on solar-powered tablets for learners who have no ready access to electricity. Because of that connectivity issues, we made the app offline, which means you don't need internet to access it. And then we also have uh, solar, uh, portable solar panels to also charge the tablet. Over 70% of learners in northern Kenya reside in places without electricity, which initially posed a huge problem for Mluga users, but now they can easily access its content. Teachers say the app has greatly enhanced learning. The initiative so far is going to help these kids. So far we have seen the kids are mastering. It will also improve on the enrollment of our kids here. It will sharpen the kids' mind. It also is in the work of the teacher. Due to poor infrastructure and lack of teachers in schools, children in northeast Kenya must learn in these conditions. Ali Mahdi told VOA that his company plans to reach more pupils in remote areas so they can learn in their first languages. We have piloted in the Somali language, so in the coming few months we'll also go to the other part of the country where we have the, Som the Maasai community and also uh, pilot there. And then we move to Cielo, Marsabit. Uh, and Mandera, where we have Borana communities, and we are going to roll out. So by the end of this year, we are hoping to, ha to, to give out more than 3,000 uh, tablets. Local communities or non-governmental organizations usually pay for the tablets. According to UNICEF, one of the fundamental challenges of learning in sub-Saharan Africa is that the language of instruction often differs from the children's mother tongue. With the new curriculum now, there is a focus on indigenous languages. And the use of now, the fact that Mluga is bringing on board the access to translation services. Because when you teach a child at that formative age, in their mother tongue, uh, even their understanding, their access, their capacity significantly improves. Early Childhood Development Education, or ECD, in Kenya is not centralized, and experts say counties need to put more funds into schools and pre-primary school education. There are so many apps that have been, uh, are being in use at the moment. In the near future, we intend to uh, you know, put the digital system in place. As young as they are in ECD sectors, our plan is that uh, they become a bit uh, you know, digitally upgraded uh, even as they go to grade 1 and 2. Despite the myriad of challenges facing students in rural parts of Kenya, innovations like the Mluga app give a glimmer of hope that they can access quality education like their peers in other parts of the country. I'm just saying for VOA News, Wajia, Kenya.